So, I'm a huge fan of Game of Thrones, and um, after the fight with Jaime Lannister and Eddard Stark, also referred as Ned, his nickname, um, I had a few thoughts that I wanted to share with with whoever <laughs> would be interested in, in my take on it. So, um, here it goes. I just wrote this as a comment to... Um, to a video showing the fight. So, here's my thoughts on the fight. Mm -mm. I just need to find <laughs> this that I've written down. Um, here it is. For me, the scene showed as Jamie was losing. If you looked on their faces, the close ups, and just as the scene was telling, here Ned Stark would win would do the final blow just as that happens um, he just goes back catch his breath if you look at their faces um, Ned was looking a lot more determined and and, and, and he almost looked a bit frightened uh, Jamie but uh, of course uh, Jamie has this sense of honor in, in that he that he don't want people to also because of you know the they call him Kingslayer behind his back etc he, he, he's not fond of that he wants people to respect him so he didn't want the fight to end the way it did he'd rather die and you could also that's also how I feel you could see that but he was willing to die but uh, it, it seemed in their faces that's that's the real story of the um, of the fight that's not how they fight um, it is the face expressions because that's telling a lot more who would win or lose in my opinion uh, this is storytelling so so yeah and I'm not I'm not sticking to what I wrote I'm sorry about that but then I, I just make my own words yeah um, I'll, I'll probably I do that a lot because I didn't read the things that I wrote but I also just talk my mind so I may say the same thing a couple of times so sorry about that uh, some someone interferes uh, I lost it I have to scroll from the left to right because it's yeah I'm using a notepad that's really the best program uh, only reason that wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't seen by people as like the best swordsman of all time by everyone and stuff like that. That's he, Ned wasn't a, a a person who who was glorifying. Who was like, I am the best. If you know what I mean, I, I can't remember the the right word in English, but um, that's that's one of the reasons that that he probably wasn't watched as such a high level in my opinion as a swordsman but like he had much more experience and in the books he was only up in his thir 30s so he wasn't like really old and slow 30s that's nothing um, if you live a healthy way which it seemed that they did back then you know um, he had a lot more experience real fights uh, fighting a whole war and even Sir Barristan told like uh, it was he was happy he didn't meet um, he, he said the same thing like um, first Ned said that he was happy he didn't meet Sir Barristan on the battlefield but he he kind of Sir Barristan kind of like um, said in some way then he himself kind of was happy that he didn't meet him as well because it seemed like he had a a lot of respect for his fighting ability as well. Um, so, <laughs> let's see. Oh, also, in I think it was the same episode, maybe, that uh, they said that Jamie had lost to the Knight of Flowers once. Um, so, he isn't like unbeatable. Even, you know, um, the. Um, George R. R. Martin has even said that there isn't like everyone could lose on a bad day. Bad day. It's it's not like one is is like the best. 
but just my interpretation of the fight was that in the facial expressions the the fight was in the, f the fight was told in the facial expressions and that uh, Edo was winning mm. but of course um Edo wouldn't really he isn't what can you say he hasn't needed to tell the full story of like like the full story of Game of Thrones as I think Jamie Lannister I haven't read books but um, I know something about books but like uh, Jamie Lannister I think would have a important role later on uh, how I see it um, I want um, like I had a lot of thoughts about that but this was only about the fight video I can maybe talk that about that in some other time but uh, yeah let's get on with the next text that I wrote Mm, oh, it's just about he wasn't glo gloating. Mm, also loved uh, where he met uh, Jamie and they were talking that I, I wouldn't show a man what I can do unless I fight them for real. That's not the exact words, but uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, kind of a sad thing you can say, actually. But um, it, it fits the character Jamie Lannister. Um, he would actually have, I don't know if you can say the word loved, but he would have liked to die this way. Uh, it seems like he's one who's who always wanted to die fighting. Um, uh, also, he's he's a very he, he's selfish in a lot of ways, but he wants to be the best and he wants recognition for it as well. Um, and also, he's he. He has his honor code, you can say. He, he, d he hates, like, being called the Kingslayer and, and people talk behind his back. He wants respect. So, he won He hated that the fight ended out the way it did. He would rather have died than what happened, it seemed to me. Um, But uh, again, that's like the end I just wrote here. But again, like, Jamie is more needed in the overall telling of the story compared to Ned. So, that's just my quick thoughts about the fight and my interpretation of it. Um, so, <laughs> I hope uh, someone out there think that it was um, fun listening to my interpretation and also... Um, just hope uh, you enjoy the show. Now it's almost starting with season three, and I season three, and I can't wait. So I hope you're feeling the same way. So yeah, have a great day, and see you some other time, perhaps. Bye. <laughs>